Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to start a new chapter that is Agriculture in India and this is the first video on the chapter. Students, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please press the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the necessary update in the future. And we all know that the ICC has reduced the syllabus. So subsequently in this chapter also a few of the topics has been uh, cancelled and I have included here in this video only the uh, topics uh, according to the latest uh, syllabus. Okay, so without any further delay, let's start the video and I request you to watch the full video. So students, um, our country is an agricultural country or an agri-green country. Now, it's because the main source of employment in our country comes from the agriculture. Around 52% of the working population in agri is coming from agriculture. Means people are dependent on agriculture for their livelihood. Okay? Not only that, the 14.5% of GDP comes from agriculture. Okay? But usually it has shrunk from 30% uh, from the last decade. However, like... Uh, the agriculture holds 18% of the total uh, GDP, including forestry and fishing also. So there is a gradual shift of the traditional Indian economy, agricultural economy, to towards the uh, service sector and the industrial sector. So here in the diagram you can see service sector is holding 56% of the total GDP and the industry is holding around 26% uh, of GDP. Now, uh, now let us discuss some of the importance of the agriculture share in the national income. Just now we have seen 18% of GDP comes around from agriculture. Okay, then the source of employment. Just now we have seen that 52% of the total employment comes from uh, agriculture. Next point is the uh, provision for the food grains. Means uh, your uh, the India's population is on the rise, isn't it? So we need uh, uh, food grains or we need food to feed those peoples. From where we can get the food grains? Definitely from agriculture. Okay. The next point is the supply of raw materials to the agro, agro uh, industry, means agro based industry. For example, you can take sugar industry, isn't it? From where they get their raw materials? Definitely from the agriculture. Next is supply of raw materials. Uh, sorry, market of industrial product. Okay. So the in in order to improve the industries, the sale of the product should be there, and the sale of the product is done by the people means uh, um, marketing is done by the people so two third of india's population lives in the rural india so if their purchasing power has to be lift up then agriculture also has to be improved then only there will be the market for the industrial product a owner of foreign exchange almost 16 percent of the foreign money comes from the export of in uh, like agricultural goods in india Okay, so however, it is all there are some other problems also related with the Indian agriculture and uh, major problems I have discussed over here uh, like over dependence of uh, on, on the unreliable monsoon and the lack of irrigational facilities. Okay, in India, the cultivation of agriculture is done uh, throughout the year. Okay, but the uh, rainfall is seasonal four months of a year only we receive rainfall and that is also unevenly distributed some parts receive very small amount of rainfall some receive very heavy amount of rainfall and the lack of water resources okay or the irrigation facilities also is one of the major problems another important uh, setback in the indian uh, agriculture is the poverty and the illiteracy of the farmers okay because of that the farmers are afraid uh, to make bigger investment in their uh, farmland okay and they are also afraid of taking uh, loans they are also afraid of uh, taking uh, applying scientific methods in their farmland scientific techniques of cultivation in their farmland another major important uh, problem is the small land holdings okay the fragmentation of land in the successive uh, generation if fathers have two hectares if he has two sons then again after his death the land will be divided among the sons the sons will have their own family that uh, uh, future generation will have their own generation in that way at the end then the grand great great grandchildren the small land or the holdings will be very uh, small Okay, and the small cultivation in the small land holding will not be a very profitable business for the uh, farmers. So this is also one of the fragmentation of the land is also one of the major problem in the Indian uh, agriculture. Okay, because of this fragmentation, the mechanism of the growing of crops or the cultivation is 
changed. There are some other problems also, inadequate irrigation facilities, uh, lack of poor or the poor management in the water resources, then lack of surplus grain in the market so that uh, farmers are not really invest, uh, investing on the agriculture. Okay, erosion by of soil by the uh, rain, flood, insufficient vegetation cover, and also the lack of adequate adequate uh, research in the agricultural sectors also is one of the other problems. Uh, some other uh, now in order to reform those, overcome those, or counter those problems, and uh, uh, this year um, and the implementation was done in the agriculture. Okay, by the government that is known as the Green Revolution, which was started in the late 1960s and under the uh, your uh, intensive agriculture development program, and uh, many steps were taken in order to uh, uh, like uh, improvise the agriculture. So some steps like uh, introduction of high yielding variety seeds, uh, provision of better irrigation facilities, and mecha uh, mechanization of farm using of insecticides, chemical uh, fertilizers, and all in the farmland. Okay provision of financial assistance from the nationalized bank uh, means giving loans to the farmer from the governmental banks at a very less interest okay provision of transport and uh, power of supply provision of market facilities and uh, government procurement of gains government procurement of gains means government are fixing the price for the farmers there is no middleman in between okay so the greater government investment in the agro best industries are some of the uh, implementa implementation which was done Okay, and this implementation, implementation or uh, like the um, uh, launching the green revolution, okay, was quite successful and was uh, fruitful for the farmers as well as for the government also. Okay, so some of the results were like it enabled the farmer to practice double and triple cropping in the same farmland. Okay, the scientific method of farming, and uh, the greater agricultural output. Okay, and uh, greater employment then export of surplus grain so which increased the gdp and the self reliance the country achieved self reliance in the uh, food grain requirements okay students so i hope this video was quite helpful and informative and uh, yeah thanks for watching this video